I used to be much better at this. This is really hard. Uh, oops. I think I'm gonna name this video Girl Making Weird Faces while trying to figure out how to tune her grandma's piano. <clears throat> Hey guys, so this is my grandma's old piano. Um, it doesn't really look like this. I've, I've taken out the cover or the skin, whatever you call it, but you can have a nice look at it here. My grandparents bought this from the Dig Boy Club in Assam. This piano is about a hundred years old. The keys are all yellow and, and a lot of the keys are off. But like, see? I'm gonna have to tune them before I can actually start playing. There you go. And check this out. Ta-da! Always, always found this piano so fascinating. I used to open it up when I was a kid. So interesting how these hammers beat on the strings. And I don't know if they're called hammers, but they look like hammers. See? All right, let's go ahead and tune this thing. So this, this is a tuner. I don't know, it probably has some other fancy name, but we just call it a piano tuner. And um, this is what I use. We need to find out where the culprit is. And it's probably this string. It opens up like this. And you can have a better view over here. The thing is, this piano is so old that the strings just, oh, they start getting loose over time if you're a girl growing up in kohima you just get sent to piano classes when you're a kid so many of my classmates when i was growing up could play the piano as well as you grow older your studies become more important also my piano teacher left then she had to go to another country She's, she had three pianos in her house, I remember. She had an actual grand piano. I used to stare at it in my free time. She used to teach two students at one go. One student upstairs, the other student downstairs. And the grand piano was just there untouched. I guess that was just for her. A lot of keys are off. My mom's sisters all took piano lessons. Interestingly, the one sister that never took piano lessons is the one who's the best at it because she just learned to play by ear. The piano was just sitting at home. She used to come and just literally play on it. And that's how she learned. She used to be asked to play in church. And all piano players, when they play in church, they keep the hymn book in front of them, which has all the musical notations so that they know, you know what they're playing. But um, my aunt was never looking at the notes. She used to keep the book still in front of her to pretend as if she was looking at the notes and playing because people said that, oh no, you should. It just looks odd that you don't have anything up there when you're playing. And I thought that was quite funny. It's quite dusty as well. You should clean it. This used to be a lot easier. Did I get weaker or did the strings become harder? Anyway. Mm. Once a grandma of mine came from the village and she complained to my mother and said, your daughter doesn't bother to study. She's just sitting and playing on that stupid thing. But then my mom said, we actually send her to classes to learn this because it's a skill, etc., etc." And the next thing I know, grandma comes and she's just applauding me every time I play. And that was really funny. I think that one's good. You know, because the keys are so old, some of them have chipped off and some of them get stuck in the middle of playing and that's really difficult. So when I was a kid, I used to walk to my piano lessons. 15 minute walk from my house. My first piano teacher uh, had a lot of dogs and one of the dogs could do namaste. The dog would literally just roll over and do this. Also, she had a lot of books about painters and if you arrive too early for piano class, she would hand you one of those books. You know, when you're nine years old, you can really freely appreciate, fully appreciate everything that was written in the painter's manual book. She was quite an eccentric lady, my first piano teacher, and I loved her for that. 
I like eccentric people. They're way more fun to be around. She also loved me a lot and she used to give me all these gifts. She once gave me a toy that didn't have eyes and she was like, oops, she doesn't have any eyes and she took out her marker and um, she actually drew some eyes on that and then said, okay, now your doll has eyes and gave it to me. Okay, these are sounding good. I should, I should resume lessons again. But I've just become such a lazy person. Ah, ugh. I don't know. I had so much josh when I was young. And then I just lost interest gradually, which is really sad. In fact, I don't even know where my piano books are. This is the first time I'm doing one of these vlogs. And half tuning and half talking and I'm just losing my train of thought. But then, oh well, I talk a lot anyway, so... I'm sure I look so appealing to you guys right now with all the facial expressions I'm making. I still remember the first time I played piano in church. Oh, that was so exciting. Finally, after I moved to Delhi, I don't know how, but I managed to get my hands on someone's keyboard. A Casio, I think. And for our Hansraj College Department of Zoology, uh, Freshers Day, I, I played Canon in D because that was the only thing I had fully memorized by then. I played it in my cousin's wedding. I think I've played for only one wedding so far, my cousin's wedding. I played a song, I played this recital, the, what's it called? Recital, can I call it? I played a piece called The Swan because my aunt loved it and she said, you have to play. That's how weddings in Nagaland go. First, there is the bridal march, so you can play any song during the bridal march. It's usually something that the bride requests. Sometimes people even sing. So in my cousin's, my other cousin's wedding, her friend sang, um, her friend sang this beautiful song from that Hugh Jackman musical movie, which I really can't remember right now. And after the bride enters and everyone's still standing, we all sing a hymn. And then the then the pastor comes and then does everything solemnization blah 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 and then within an hour it's just done and then you go and eat food and two hours and that's it three hours three hours is literally how long weddings in nagaland last which is so sad considering the fact that you decorate the place for like five days and then in three hours it's all gone really sad but Decorations are amazing. When I talk, I talk so much and then I start mumbling to myself. I should have been a mumble rapper. My uncle used to tell me that I should, I should work for a call center because I just don't stop talking. Talking is my strength. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Um, I am gonna now tune every string that's here. Hopefully it's gonna start sounding brilliant after that. <sighs> Wish me luck. The piano has been tuned. I shall now impress you with my below average playing skills. Viewer discretion is advised. Just not that day. Ta-ta! Dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum